Good afternoon. We want to welcome everyone uh, to the commencement, the ribbon cutting, and the opening night of Prim and Proper, where Clark Hospitality and the Outcrowd Group have joined forces to bring you a beautiful concept. Uh, we hope that you enjoy the space, enjoy the vision, and what we created and brought to the city. We're happy to be in the city. Thank you for the downtown partnership and all of our partners on top with this project, Janine. Hi everyone, I'm Janine Simon. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm a part of the Outcrowd group and I just wanna say that I'm so proud of this collaboration. Um, our team and all of the blood, sweat, and tears that have gone into this project. It is really like a baby of ours and we really hope that you enjoy it. Up next, I have the pleasure of introducing the men that stand behind us, Chris Simon and Barry Clark. Hello everyone, and I don't know if uh, Janelle introduced herself, but uh, Janelle Clark. But I, I wanna thank you all for coming out here today. Um, it was always a dream to start a business in Baltimore. Um, I'm from East Baltimore, I grew up a few blocks from here. So it's just a dream in itself, opening a business in downtown Baltimore. Um, uh, we are part of Clark Hospitality, and I just wanna say thank you to my team. Um, you can see them there, and they're beautiful. Woo! Yellow blazers, each one curated <laughs> by the, uh, the guy right beside them, Steven, at different regard. So I just want to say, once again, we appreciate you being here. Uh, we hope to see you all the time. And that's pretty much it for today. I want to introduce you to Chris Simon. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, it was an article today that came out that said, uh, collaboration is better than competition. And I think that this is indicative of that. Uh, I really want to thank Janelle and Barry and Clark Hospitality for having the vision and the idea of this concept and inviting us in to their space. Um, and we wanted to make sure that we always respected their ideas and dreams and vision for this and also bring and add a bunch of value uh, to it. And it's been a seamless process and a lot of people think about working together. It could be very difficult at times, but I think the best thing is that we none of us approach this from a situation of bringing egos into this. We brought the idea of wanting to create something pretty awesome, and I think that's what we have done. Uh, so I also want to give a few shout outs. First of all, I'll start with our, our crowd team. You met Janine already. To my right, you have Mr. Chris McRae. You have Miss Jada McRae. Uh, straying away from the camera, you have Miss Keisha McLean, Jamil McLean, and probably never here. Uh, it's Mr. Lamont Ellis. So I also want to thank, we have a few people here that have contributed to this project in a, a phenomenal way. So when you go around the restaurant, I'm going to be longer than two minutes, by the way. But when you, <laughs> when you go around the restaurant, um, you'll see beautiful black art with showing, you know, black individuals shown as kings and queens. And we were very purposeful about doing that. We were, and it was another article that was written today that said you can be purposeful, but intentional, but still be for everybody. And I think that's what we did. So I want to shout out Kid Balloon for creating amazing art on short term notice. He always just drops his project when I calls and when we always just create some wonderful stuff. I also want to thank Elaborate Designs, who Tiffany from Elaborate Designs, who will help with the renovation and the uh, aesthetic of the place. Uh, Sanjay Productions and her whole entire team for helping with all of our opening events, uh, Media Minds, uh, B Lux, and everybody that contributed towards our entire uh, opening. Um, also, want to thank the Baltimore Sun, the Afro, the Banner for writing amazing articles on us. Uh, thank you for all the press for being here, and thank you for all our dignitaries being here and the ones that can. I know Don West sends her, uh, Don and West sends their best, Brandon. Uh, we, he's uh, sent someone from his team, which we're appreciative of. Nick Mosby and our phenomenal downtown partnership, Executive Director, Ms. Yolanda Stokes. So with that, I'm going to shut up before I get the, uh, Afro, before I get the uh, wrap up music. So bringing up next to the stage, you might know this brother from the What's Going Down episode of That's My Mama. <laughs> well, you might know this brother because even if you haven't met him before, you're going to know him soon and you're gonna start to love him because he's a phenomenal chef and that's our chef, Chef Calvin Riley. Thank you and good afternoon. 
um, on behalf of everyone that is in the kitchen right now working tirelessly to prepare for this experience, I would like to shout them out and say thank you for being here. Thank you all for this, this memorable occasion. Um, I am extremely humbled. I am honored to be here. Uh, but more importantly, um, I, I, I just give glory to God for where we are today. Um, this was a long journey for me and you know, when, when my, my partner and I decided to open a restaurant here um, that failed, um, I kind of took that personally, but I realized that all things work in the perfect timing. Now is the perfect timing, and now we are excited to bring you the, 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 the culinary experience that will be talked about for years to come. So again, on, on behalf of my culinary team and the people that are behind the scenes that you may never see on a microphone, those are the people that really make it happen. So I say thank you again, and I hope that you enjoy this journey as we go on it. All right, coming up to the stage next from the mayor's office, Ms. Faith. All right, good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. I need a little bit more than that. We're about to open a fantastic Black-owned restaurant. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. All right. Well, my name is Faith Leach, and I serve as the Chief Administrative Officer of the city, and I'm here on behalf of Mayor Scott, who sends his regards. But he is just as excited as I am and as everyone else is here for the opening of this restaurant. The thing that I think is so fitting about today is this the first day of Black History Month. Right? Amen. Let's let's take a second to think about what that means and what that means in a city like ours, that we are able to support our own. And on the first day of Black History Month, we get to celebrate black ownership. We get to celebrate black art, black culinary art, black visual art. And we get to open a space for everyone. Right. And we get to share the black experience with everyone. And that is, that's what's so exciting about this concept. So I just want to thank all of those involved um, for your vision, for your vision and for your commitment to the city of Baltimore. And what's even more exciting for me and for Shalanda and for Council President Mosby and Mayor Scott is that we are doing this in our downtown. Amen. Right? A downtown that we are working to reimagine and to revitalize. There are a lot of downtowns across this country where you won't see a concept like this. But in Baltimore, this is the concept that is about our downtown. So again, I just want to thank you all for your leadership, for believing in Baltimore, for continuing to bet on the city of Baltimore, and to bring some of the best food I've ever eaten to the city. So thank you so much, and congratulations. I also want to shout out all of our videographers and photographers for capturing our amazing content, SKS, for for social media. Really appreciate that. Uh, coming up next, our city council president, Mr. Nick Mosby. When I say prim, you say proper. Prim. Proper. Prim. Proper. Prim. Proper. prim. Proper. Well, that's what we're here today celebrating um, this amazing collaboration uh, between uh, Black Swan and I'll say uh, Poppy Cuisine. Um, you know, when we think about like standing on this block in Rearwood, the one thing I kind of start questioning is, did people expect this five years ago, <laughs> 10 years ago, 20 years ago? And then when we start talking about Chris's quote, because I read it in the paper, he said about being purposeful and intentional, um, but to be inclusive of everybody, to be supportive of everybody. But we know through the history of our country, through our state, through our city, that things have always been purposeful and intentional, uh, but they also have excluded folks like the out, out, court, the out crowd <laughs> at Clark Hospitality. It's been very intentional about excluding them out. Yes, sir. Well, here today in Baltimore, we stand, and as the uh, CAO said, on the first day of Black History Month, uh, with a black establishment, with beautiful black artwork, that interior designed by a black woman, and at the hands from a culinary perspective of a black chef, we stand right here in Redwood, and we understand and know that this is what Baltimore looks like. 
Despite what you see in the newspaper, you hear about on the news on a regular basis, we understand and know the individuals that are standing behind me today, they put their blood, sweat, intellectual property, and tears into creating this amazing space is more indicative of who we are and what we are here in the city of Baltimore. And that's why I could not miss the opportunity of missing this chance and coming to the grand opening. So when I say prim, you say proper. Prim. Proper. Prim. Proper. Prim. Proper. And it reads, to the city, the city Council of Baltimore resolution be hereby known to all that the City Council of Baltimore offers its sincerest congratulations to Prim and Proper in recognition of the grand opening of Prim and Proper and collaborative effort between Clark Hospitality and the OutCrowd Group. The entire membership extends its best wishes on this memorable occasion and directs this resolution to be presented this first day of February 2024, signed by myself, President of Baltimore City Council, Nick J. Mosby. Congratulations. Thank you, Nick. I would also, as I bring up the next person, I kind of want to also thank our uh, leasing agent, Mr. Brad Burns, and then also the owners of the building, Mr. Scott and Leslie Helm. And the reason why I'm in thanking them now, because the person that I'm bringing up is the executive director of a board that I'm also on and a part of, and it's Brad is. And if you ever remember the, the locks, they had an album called We Are The Streets. And she is the street. She makes sure that she controls these blocks and everything within this perimeter. And she's committed to making sure that the downtown Baltimore is vibrant and successful. And we appreciate having her support in this project. So without any further ado, Ms. Shalonda Stokes. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris, Jada, Janine. And when I tell you, this is amazing. The OutCrowd group, Keisha and, and Clark Hospitality today for me was very emotional. Because as, as council president said, he, he talked about five years ago and 10 years ago, well, three years ago when I came into this position, we couldn't see it either. And to have what at one time people were saying downtowns were dead, to have a group of people who I love and who I trust and who deliver a hot A-S, because all we want here <laughs> means something. It means something that you invested some of the best black brands. When you talk about poppy cuisine and you talk about black swan, if somebody's coming to Baltimore, that is at the top one or two, and you say that all the time. So when I did a post, my post said there's no I in team, but there's action and collaboration because y'all are taking this thing to a whole nother level and have not stopped. And we appreciate it. The, the 127,000 employees who are in this one mile radius, the 40,000 that are in this one mile radius and the 11,000 that live just around here. Appreciate what you've brought to this neighborhood. And for Downtown Partnership, our job is to help ensure its vibrancy. 